Fund. He was in September 2002, my lord. Ah, for dying in September, I come here 2002. Thank you. Where did it take place? Yeah, where did that be? It was here at the lab. Oh, can I lay that for Let's try to be specific. Where here at the lab? In the pig and out in corner lab. It was here in South Africa at the lab, at the forensic science lab. Oh, in corner lab, Zanzi, forensic science lab. Yeah, in Pretoria. That's correct. At the corner lab, Pretoria, TM. Now, is it also true or correct that the where the CMS stands for consecutive machine striations. CMS stands for consecutive machine striations. CMS, can you please repeat that? Consecutive matching striations. Consecutive matching striations. That's correct. Consecutive matching striations. Yes. So you familiar with this concept? That's correct, my lord. Thank you. Now, these are some of the concepts which you which you got when you attended that Bruce Moran and George Murdoch um, uh, lecture in 2002, not so. Amongst others. Amongst others, yes, my lord. Thank you. <coughs> now, you tested, um, you fired um, some test bullets. And on those that you fired the test bullet, you went on to work to compare bullet number five and <coughs> nine with a single bullet, not so. I compared all the bullets that I fired with the exhibit bullet. So you're saying you compared all the... How many tests did you fire again? Test bullets? Eight test bullets. Thank you. I'm trying to play in the business. <coughs> And you compared those eight test bullets with the same bullets. That's correct. Then of those eight bullets, you then proceeded. Then why did you mention in your... Why did you mention in your affidavit that you only work on bullet number five and nine and not mention all of them? <coughs> in my affidavit, there's no way I've mentioned only bullet number five and bullet number nine. I've compared all bullets with the exhibit bullet. The only thing that I did when preparing a court chart, I used bullet number five and bullet number nine. Okay. I then the shoulder of multi gives a sensor bullet number seven, bullet number five, and number nine. Pell, craft David. Take his fellows again, Tom. What do I get? Oh, my son is always a home view. The sense say he bullet number five and number nine. Why did you specifically prefer bullet number five and number nine? You never go against who to cater number five and number nine. 
Well, those are the bullets that I could see a better marking that can be produced on my my my, my court chart. That's why I use those for two. Unless in time for getting bonus on a good name, power in is gonna rely in the world's routine is for you, which are term in a data like that. So, are you then telling this court that the other bullets which you fired that you also examined could not give you better marking, although they were fired from the same firearm? Well, sometimes we take a number of marks to place by my sort. This is singing time for singing now, singing by his bonagalagas. Well, there were markings on all the bullets, but I prefer to use bullet number five and bullet number nine because of their markings. So, I get up as soon as they empower what I give me, and I can try to put it. Yes, so since this is our number five and the number nine, this one has called. Did you at any stage say, try to compare or compare the bullet amongst themselves? Did you compare bullet number five to bullet number three? Uh, test bullet number five to, to test bullet number three? Well, I compared the, all the bullets with the exhibit. Comparing the test will not help with anything because I know those are the known match. Those are the tests that I have fired in the fire. But now the bullet that you ultimately use to prepare the court chart, which is bullet number five and bullet number nine, actually gave you better marks, not so. Thank you. Now you request um, Lieutenant Colonel Sorero <coughs> to override your work, not so. It was only for the match work verification, it's confirmation of my work, my work. If he has agrees with me on the <coughs> my findings. I'm sorry, maybe I use a wrong term override. I actually should have used them to confirm confirmation. I'm sorry about that. But nonetheless, you understood what I was saying. And then in a confirmation of your test, Lieutenant Colonel Surer then uses bullet number four and bullet number eight. Not so. number eight, I gave him all the tests and he used all the tests and the marks that he could find or maybe that he could maybe identify properly was bullet number eight and bullet number number four and bullet number eight but the test that is exactly what i'm saying it is a feat of it he says in his section 212 affidavit, he says, I use bullet number, test bullet number four and bullet number eight to confirm the test that were done by Lieutenant Colonel uh, Mangena. That is exactly what he says. Well, sure, I go up to David Yak and a puzzle section two and two, T and I was in the town for number four and number eight to consegue side in Pumela or out of the way. That's correct, my lord. But you won't try. Thank you. You also wouldn't tell the court whether you don't know whether did it make any endeavors to compare that bullet number eight and bullet number four. To those test bullets that you came and prepared on the court chart here at court, not so. That is bullet number five and nine. We should see when I was in two thousand seven. This is bullet number four. Number eight was Katanis and that is when I was saying this is bullet number five. No number nine. Malot, I don't know if he compared yes. those bullets first, but he compared all the tests probably with the exhibit that I gave him. 
because the purpose was to compare the bullet to confirm the microscopic work that I did that the bullet exhibit bullet is positive with the test bullet. <coughs> Now, would you agree with me that you said you fired the FMJs and you also fired the FMS bullets because the FMJ did not give you it did not I'm sorry just a second man I think I did not switch my phone off Now, you said you fired the FMJs, that's so the full metal jacket, <coughs> not so, amongst others. What you know, the question is, in terms of what's to pull out, to pull out, or let's say, so show the FMJ, and that. That's correct, my lord. Yeah, but John. And do you know what type of a bullet was bullet number eight? I'm sorry, who's the time for the number eight? We ask you know, to go with the local shop. Bullet number eight was FMJ. Uh, and that is the bullet that Surero work on, not so. That's correct, Now, how do you explain this rationale? That you have to fire the CMJs in order to get better markings, and yet Mr. Surero uses the FMJ to compare your tests, I mean to affirm your tests, to confirm your tests. No, the cause I'm trying to get over to to have to build a CMJ, which is a taller, empowers Bonada and Gon, and then Ustera Rena was in this our FMJ, which I told a was in so FMJ, which I told a in the level which I can say is a concerns always. My Lord, the first two FMJ bullets that I have compared with this were the tests which were fired by Warrant Officer Rulofs. I could not get the match on this, but could see the similarities. Mm -hmm. That's why I've decided to shoot more tests yes. using the correct ammunition. And in, within those correct ammunition, there's the CMJs. I also used the two FMJs I compared. Not that the two FMJs that I fired didn't have marks. They had marks. you say you had to fire the CMJ because they were made of a softer material. <coughs> and therefore, the transfer of the marks into the test bullet was easier compared to the FMJ, not so. My Lord, not that there were no marks on the FMJs or the marks will differ. Marks will not differ. It's just that when you shoot the test on this fire, because of the condition of the fire, as I said, it does not transfer those marks properly to all the exhibits. In some of the tests, you can see the marks that you cannot see on the others. Even on those FMJs, there were marks that are visible on the FMJs, but on those the, on the, 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 the CMJs, you could not see them clearly. So not necessarily that I couldn't see anything on the, the, the FMJs. I could see the marks also on the FMJs.
now you are also confirming that the firearm was old and the barrel was 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 abused it could not transfer proper marks onto certain types of bullet that is what you say but it could not transfer marks clearly that it could but it could transfer marks and it's possible to connect some of the marks that were transferred to, to the bullet by the fire. Thank you. Now back to my initial question, that which I surmise you did not understand. <coughs> Sirero, you say in bullet number eight, which was used by Sirero to confirm your work, was the FMJ not so? That's correct. Yourself, the bullets that you used to prepare the court's shot, those two bullets, that's now bullet number five and, and nine, were CMJs, not so. So, I'll repeat again. Can you please answer the ask? It? I'm asking the question. Mm, not so. This question and I'm asking CMJ. I'm not saying repeat anything. I'm simply asking you the bullets, the test bullets which you yourself have used in order to prepare the court's chart with CMJ is not so. That's correct, my lord. There's Thank two you. test bullets that I have prepared that I prefer to use for the court chart were the two CMJs. Thank you. Now, Sirero comes and confirms your tests that are based on the FMJs. I mean, your, your, your tests which are based on CMJs when he has used the FMJs. Do you understand it? Well, the FMJs, I could make them positive, but I did not use them for court chat. But then why? Because rule of say also used FMJs. Why didn't you continue to use these FMJs? Malot, I've mentioned this. The FMJs which were shot by rulers did not have proper marks. Okay. That's why I had to shoot my own test. And within my test, I've also fired the FMJs, of which on the, my FMJs, I could see the markings. Thank you, sir. Now, you said you understand the concept of uh, CMS, conservative matching strike, and so. That's correct, madam. 
Now, in a in a in a test uh, exhibit, <coughs> test exhibit, in what region of the test bullet will we find these striations? In what? Can you rephrase the question? In what region of the test bullet will we find, or, or would expect normally find striations? On the grooves. Thank you. You're also familiar with the concept of same relative area opposition, not so? Can you please repeat that? You're also familiar with the concept of same relative position within the context of ballistic analysis, not so? Same relative position. I'm asking him if he is familiar with that concept. That's correct. Thank you. Now in a in a, in a practical application of this concept. Maybe before I get to there. Is this also one of the concepts that you got when you attended to the seminar or the training by Bruce Moore and John Maddock? That's correct. Thank you. Now, when, how would you define the concept of same relative position? As it relates to ballistic analysis. When you are in then to the same relative position. You are now in class, When you're speaking of the same relative position, you mean on both items it must be on the same position. Yes. If you are looking at one o'clock on your exhibit, it must be one o'clock on your test. If you are rotating your exhibit or your, your, your exhibit and test. You rotate them simultaneously to look on the same relative positions. You're not moving one and then you move the other one, or you don't move the other. Both items must be on the same position, and you move them simultaneously. Then you are on the same relative position. Thank you. Now let us use just one one exit. Just one exit. In relation to just one exhibit, a uh, test bullet, uh, let's say it's a test bullet or it's a scene bullet, the, 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 the bullet that is picked up from the scene. In relation to that exhibit, what is the meaning of this concept, same relative position in relation to that one exhibit? Not as when you're comparing two exhibits. No me, no me the tolerance can be any no my day or trust and I must could man same relative position. Who could man so could man? Hello, you cannot speak of same relative position in one item. It cannot be. If it's same relative position, when you are comparing two items, it must be the same position from this one and this one. So if you are talking of one exhibit, what do you mean by the same relative position? You are relating it to which exhibit or to which part of it? Because you are talking about one item. So is it not so that when you are using two exhibits, the purpose why you're doing that is is to compare if there are similarities between the same exhibits, not so? 
Now you are comparing two different items, the similarities on those two different items. Then you must be on the same relative position on both three so that you can see if they match. Thank you. I'm, I'm, I, I don't dispute that. Not even with the sense. Now let us start here. You receive a single not so. That's correct. Now, under your microscope, you, I mean, you put that simple under your microscope, and then you determine that there are indeed some striations in that bullet, not so, on the groups, as you say, not so. That's correct. Yeah, and let us assume at this point you haven't received a tool which that sin exhibit could have been uh, or a gun or a firearm that sin exhibit could have been fired from. It's only the Simple, not, not received any firearm, not so. I hear that, man. Yeah, no, this process is very necessary. We, 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 we try to assist the court. We're simplifying it with a view to, to assist the court. Now, you put that scene uh, exhibit under microscope and you're able to identify certain marks. But you microscope. you do you follow? Yes, I follow that, my lord. And because of that identification, is it not so that would you then mark those? Would you then continue to mark those 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 uh, marks which you have identified under microscope? Not so from the simple I don't understand to mark them, to mark them, you can mark them not knowing that what type of marks it can be unique markers, but are you comparing them with anything? <laughs> Say you you you're not yet at a position where you need to compare. You not we're not yet there. You still now having one exhibit. You just want to identify that exhibit if it has got marks. Do you understand? Do you understand? I understand there will be grooves on those and then there will be marks on the grooves. Yes. Now, some days later, <coughs> an investigating officer then brings a firearm and requests you to do a matching. Imagine if I want to go again, so I feel like the police are participating. 
Now, is it not so that from that firearm then you will proceed to fire test bullets, not so? That's correct, my lord. Yeah, Then from those test bullets, you will then go and retrieve the same bullet that you had worked on before and compare that same bullet with the test bullets, not so. Now, okay. this is comparison. That's correct, my lord. Yeah, Thank you. Now back to my question. Those marks, because you have just said that there are marks, of course, that you could find on the scene bullets, which would be normally on the grooves. Now, that groove on which the marks are appearing, would that not be a same relative area? Oh, if I compare the two like, bullets, mm. then I identify the groove that matches. Yes. Then that groove will be my first groove. Then when I start looking at the markings, the individual markings on that one, I'll start matching them. Then I'll go to the next groove, of which will be the same relative position on both items moving to the next groove. You can look into that when you see the whole groove. If you can see, you don't want to see the whole groove, you can just magnify it, make it, make the max a little bit bigger. You can count that. No, if you see the whole groove, you can count all your striations on this thing. Thank you, sir. Now, your understanding of the concept same relative area would mean you can find certain marks on a particular groove and then you can go to, and then you twist, you twist, you, you, you twist the exhibit <coughs> and then you find certain marks there as well that it means now on two different groups you find marks which are similar that is now your understanding of the concept same relative area that's correct, So, you go to a third group, you go to a fourth group, you find certain markings there on both exhibits, that the test bullets and your scene bullets, and you find certain markings which are similar. According to you, that will also constitute same relative area. That is, the first groove, the second groove, the third groove, the fourth groove, according to you, that would still constitute same relative area. And we should be able to start to see the stand, we should be able to see the stand, we should be able to see the stand, we should be able to see the stand, 
and the final it will go also be some with the same relative area. That's correct, man. That's correct, isn't it? John? You attended this um, training offered by Bruce Moran and John Murdoch in 2002. Is that what you got from them? When they were funded, I the six funders said to the Bruce Moran, not John Murdoch in 2002. You go on and go up that up. That's correct, my lord. Yeah, won't you? Say with your respect and the greatest respect that I have for, for the experts, I'm going to put it to you that you had it all wrong. I'm going to put it to you that you had it all wrong. That is going to be demonstrated when and as and when the, 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 the matter progresses that you had it all wrong. I also thought I must look over and do that what it when they put. Thank you, let's proceed. CMS Consecutive machine striations. <coughs> it has been put to the witness that to be demonstrated that he's got it all wrong without really laying the basis, my lord. Can we just inquire what is the basis for that proposition? Yes, Mr. Smith. Mr. I, I, well, I do not understand the basis of the objection, my lord. I'm requested to lay the basis, but I also don't understand the basis of the objection. No, May the state please explain himself. What does he mean? That I should, ooh, ooh, ooh. What is the basis of that objection? No, but uh, logically, that's how I understand <coughs> the question. <coughs> logically, this expert witness must be told what the correct position is because he has got it all wrong. He must be told. Does, Mr. Baloy, is that what you... Yes, indeed, that, that is the basis of the uh, yeah. objection. <laughs> I've, I've if you don't want to tell him or her, eh, or you don't think it's necessary, you're at liberty not to. I've just indicated, my lord, that as the trial progresses, okay, that is going to be demonstrated okay. that he got it all wrong. All right. Exactly. <laughs> so I don't understand the piece of the objection. All right. Thank yeah. you. CMS, the consecutive machine strike. What do you understand by uh, with the term consecutive? Well, Jerry, most people have the idea that they just say this is the CMS consecutive machine strike. They don't come out with anything consecutive. You need to go all the society. Let me put it this way: it could be a very broad term. I'm referring to it when it is used within the ballistic context. I'll simplify it as continuous matching strides. Continuous matching strike. I show you to tell you what you get. He he me got me to end at he 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 afanana he he no glandela. Continuous matching strike. It's consecutive. Continuous. Thank you. Now, we are going to go into the chart that we prepared in order to simplify this whole process of continuous, as you're saying, and yes, consecutive, say as I'm saying. Sequence of matching strides. Excuse me? Continuous or sequence of matching strides. Sequence of matching strides. 
Thank you. Now, I think if we go to the chart that we have prepared, because if we speak in continuous um, the sequence of machine strike, to a person who does not understand this concept, they, 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 they will just be wandering in the wilderness. Let us simplify it by specifically referring to the chart there is to fact. Thank you. Now I'm going to request that we go to Exhibit 13E6. If it can be built for us, please. The reason why I prepared Exhibit 13E6 is because we have already marked them. Those are the ones that were made available to us yesterday morning. If it can be enlarged, please. Thank you. Now, is it correct that this is this is similar to Exhibit 13 E1? That's correct. Thank you. Thank you. Now I'm 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 not so sure whether as we do this exercise you're going to move from the witness box and just get nearer to the screen there, or what methodology we're going to use. Maybe the state can assist in that regard. Remember we're here at the, invita at the invitation of the state. State is a dominion So I'm just wondering if the state will be in a position to assist. Because I'm avoiding a situation where we say, you see there, you see there, you see there, you see there, 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 there below, there, below, there. No, it won't work. Science is the art of precision and accuracy. We are going to be very accurate. I'm, I'm not so sure, my lord, whether this witness is going to get to the board today as it trying to demonstrate the concept that I'm asking him about or what. Yeah, ask him. He will go there if he has to answer by going there. And then he'll come back into the witness stand and tell us what he just saw. Thank you, my lord. Now, we are on Exhibit 13E6. We're busy trying to analyze this concept of consecutiveness, consecutiveness as it relates to ballistic expertise or, or, or processes. Now, there are, there are errors there that are marked. Um, one. That is on phone. We assume that the exhibit that is on the left hand side is the scene exhibit, not so. So you thought I am going to go to the lab, when I had a connect place, it's Tom, but when I'm to be sure that a one, a footy, a certain wootie, it's Tom, the thing up and we're so glad. It's Tom, but I guess, and Tom, we are to the end of this camera. That's correct. Thank you. And the what is depicted on the left or on the right is 
a test bullet then was fired by you at the forensic science laboratory and so on. But he had one other so good, sir. You see, Tom, he, 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 in time for why, why do you use a use of a test bullet? Thank you. Now, there are errors there that are marked one. Come to show the paper over to number one. Do you see them? You're going to let me see the show. Yes, I can see it now. Thank you, you now you can proceed. Actually, this is a process that the state needed to do, but unfortunately they didn't. So I'm now the incumbent that is taking you through the process. Now, what are they pointing at? Those others that are marked at number one on both sides. to be sure to one they well, they are pointing at the striations that starts from the exhibit bullet continues on your test bullets. From this again, oh, my God, 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 oh, that will tell you that those are the highest points when you start from the bottom upward. Not so those ones, the arrows, they, 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 they are at the highest point there. Not so. Which ones? The ones at the top? Uh, the ones which are marked one, they are a little bit taller than the others. Uh, 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 a little bit taller than the one marked two, three. Yeah, two and three, get, yes. Let me show you uh, my way to one. Oh, let me put it this way, they are at an elevated angle compared to those that are marked 2 and 3, not so. Not so. They are at an elevated level, it means they are above those that are marked 2 and 3. Meaning one. Yes, one. On the screen. On the screen. Um, yes. Is that not so? That's so. Thank you. Now, when you have identified this one, we can assume that the line that is running from the scene bullet to the to the test bullet, they, 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 they align at the center of the two bullets. In other words, that could be regarded as a match, not so. They align, man, please. Yes, that's a match. When you're only speaking about one, you cannot say it's a match when you see only one. No, in other words, okay. In this regard, when I say a match, I don't mean, therefore, the conclusion is that the sin bullet matches the bullet that was, uh, matches the test bullet. I'm saying uh, there's a synergy there. Uh, the line goes through. It runs from the sin bullet to the test bullet. So there's, there's, there's a similarity there. That's correct, man. As I said, it starts on the exhibit bullet, continues to the test bullet. Yes, yes. And you have a lot of Now, <coughs> what type of a line is that? Is it a striation or what type of a line is that? Yes, my it's a striation line. Thank you. Yeah, boy, the line is a striation. Is it the class characteristics? 
Okay. Is it a class characteristic? Is that a subclass characteristic or is it an individual characteristic? Uh, class characteristic, not no subclass characteristic. Well, that cannot be a class characteristic. And cannot be a subclass characteristic. I'm asking you, is that a sub? Is it a class or is it an individual? Then you answer by saying, no, that can be a sub. That can be a, 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 a class. But the question is very simple. What is it? It is not a class characteristic, my lord. And it's not a subclass characteristic. Then what it is? Okay, I give any class characteristic, I give any subclass characteristic. Man, the members of the group, who is in the group, are going to go on a lot of things. My lord, it can be an individual market, but you cannot just use it as an individual market. Okay, I'm going to go to who pound all those men. They will come out and say, "Sir, I'm sorry." Just a second. Yes, thank you. But in terms of the structure of comparison, is it also a counted line? Are we counting it? That's correct, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's go to two. To the arrows that are marked two on both sides. I see them to number two. Do you see them? Yes, I see them. Okay, Thank you. Now, we can also assume that, um, like, like, like those, uh, like that line, that striation that goes. Um, uh, that is mark number one. We can uh, 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 number one on both sides. We can also assume that this is the same scenario. That is the the the, the, the line that is from the scene exhibit mark two goes through to the test bullet on your right hand side, which is mark three. In other words, it goes through. There are similarities. I don't want to use the word match again. I must beg again. So to be a fan and a glow is bonile from Gushal of Caro to Gushal of Sato. The look out there, the dear Vule, La Vule, and Tram Vule, a floating aisle, a blue sugar, La Pavule, and Tram Vule, a tolender, and a scam. That's correct. Thank you. Maybe just before we proceed. Is this now a two-dimension or a three-dimensional uh, 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 process? <laughs> Using a microscope. What we see? Using a microscope. Yes. It's a three-dimension. Three-dimensional. Thank you. Most people are paying. Two-dimension, no matter three-dimension, you know what you get. If you want to go to a city two-dimension, you know what you can be some. Thank you. I must thank you. That was excellent. Thank you. I I've been there your understanding of what I've just said or what a three dimension is. That was excellent. Thank you, sir. Now, <clears throat> that will be, according to you, that will be a second count, not so. 
That's correct. And according to you, that will be a consecutive count from one. In other words, you have counted from arrow number one, and then you are now in arrow number two. That is one, two. It's a consecutive count according to you, not so. Thank you. Now let us look between point number one, arrow number one and arrow number two on the exhibit on the on the on the exhibit plans. between the space that is between the first striation and the second striation in the same bullet. What is it that you are able to identify there? <coughs> oh, what is identifiable there? The space between the two is yes. The space in your right and what else? What else meaning? What else do you see? Meaning, what else do you see there, Lieutenant Colonel? <laughs> Are we referring to the other mass on the... I'm specifically speaking about the side of the test bullets between arrow number one and arrow number two. That's why I said the space is equal. So I don't know any other thing that you are referring to. So you don't see anything? I don't know what you're talking about. You are referring to when you say anything. Are there no striations that you are able to pick up between arrow number one and arrow number two on the same bullet? Uh, on exhibit bullet, yes, there are other striations that ends up beyond the dividing line. Where do you see them? Where do between, I see them? Remember, we're talking about the space that is between arrow number one and arrow number two. We have not moved. We have not yet moved further. Now you are saying yes. There are other striations that go up to the point where the two bullets are meeting. Is that right you say here? On the same space between one and two. Yes. Yes, I can see them there. But you have a bound to corner in power is corner apart from number one and number two. Maybe just for practical purposes, could you uh, with the river of court, of course. Can you just go and point them out there the screen there? I don't know. I need to come on the screen. Yeah, I've got a ruler here, I've got a ruler. Uh, can you please pass it over? I'm, I'm, I'm asking you, what do you see? You must tell us. You have said you're saying striation. I'm not referring to anything. You must tell us what do you see there. I'm not referring to anything. I've also I've only asked you, what is it that you see between the space um, arrow number one and number two? Then you said you see striations. Then you went there and pointed to them out. Ah, uh, those striations. Yes, they are striations. Thank you. What you have to me? How many? Bingo. There are four striations there. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Those four strategies which you've just mentioned, do they go through <coughs> to the to the um, I mean to the test bullet? Which is on the the right. Are they, they, are they also the visible test on the test bullet which is on the right? I have a lot in the Mika who let the try test bullet in up and I so good. Well, not, they continue to the test bullets, but on that part of the test bullet, they are not visible. I just want to point out to you. If you look at the test bullets here, they are not there, but if you continue looking, there they are at this side. On this part of the bullet, they are not there. So if you look at your bullet, as I said, it's a soft bullet, it's a soft lead bullet. If it bends like this, this part will not have your yes. marks. But this part will have your marks. Okay, thank so you. that bullet, because it's a soft bullet, the yes. possibility of it bending a little bit so that it cannot pick up all the marks yes. are very high there. Okay. I'm going to go back to the top of the zone. I'm going to go back to the corner. 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 Thank you, sir. Now, you had an opportunity the whole weekend to go and identify areas of similarities between the... There it goes again. Oh, it's back again. Between the similarity... Uh, I mean, uh, uh, um, uh, similarities between the test bullet and when I say similarities, please understand me contextually. Between the test bullet, which is on the right, and the exhibit bullet, which is on the left. To identify all those marks which are similar, whether they extend or they do not extend. So, not so. assignment was to go and depict the marks that are visible on E1. <laughs> and that is precisely the exercise that the witness has done. Not all the not all the striations, but the striations that he has identified on Exhibit E1. As a court, I think the state again had it all wrong. Very all wrong. <coughs> Exhibit <coughs> X13EC1. He has got no markings. Which is the reason why on Friday this expert was requested to go and identify and mark those areas which is able to identify on the uh, exhibit bullet and the test bullet. <coughs> that was the assignment. Nobody said to him that, look, if you are unable to find it in the middle and you find it at the end, you should not mark it. But exactly, that is coming, my lord. Let's look at point number three, at error number three. Error number three. Uh, so bear with me to be sure that we start. Now, is that not what you're suggesting, that um, the bullet would not have been able to pick up those marks as per demonstration of it uh, bending in the middle? Uh, uh, you know, a child is taking a, 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 is it a convex or a, co a concave shape? Uh, I think it's a convex shape or a concave shape, yes. Such that as it goes through the barrel, it is unable to pick up mark in the middle of its body, but only on its edges, on its ends, not so. And that is it's... exactly what we have done on point number three. And nobody said you should go and do it in point number three. Now, back to my question. If you are saying that those striations that we have already pointed out as striations that are between point number one and point number two on the 
seen bullet are also on the test bullet, irrespective of where they are in the test bullet. If you're able to pick them up, why did you not do the same exercise as you did on point number three? I've pointed the sufficient marks to show the similarities between both the exhibits and the test. I didn't point out all the marks. It's not going to be possible to point all the marks there. There's a lot of marks there. But say exactly, that was the assignment. Go and identify all the marks that are found on the test bullet, I mean on the test bullet and as well as the scene bullet. Nobody said limit yourself. That is the exercise that you are requested to go and do. Then you decide to come up with this. This no, is objective. We're not going to repeat ourselves and belabor the point, but we've made our point that that was not the object of the exercise. The object of the exercise was for this witness to highlight the, um, the, the markings that he's identified <coughs> in the E1 on the uh, exhibit that is now handed up as exhibit E6. That was the sole purpose of the exercise. As it is a court manners. I, I, I think I've made my point. Sorry, just for... How did you understand the alleged assignment which you were given in connection with uh, the charts? What were you supposed to do? I wasn't there when they agreed. They agreed amongst themselves that this is how you must do it. And I was requested to point out the marks that I have identified on the chart. As I said, when I was testifying, he asked me how many marks did you see on the opening. And I said, on the first chart, I remember I said seven, six or seven marks. And when I did the court chart, I mentioned up to six. If you can check all my markings, it's up to six. I've never went more than six. Yes, no, and I'm, I'm aware of that trick, you say. Now you are simply aligning your answer to what the state has said and most probably to what the court is asking you. Just an alignment, but nonetheless it's fine. I've made my point. Now, in terms of the county. When there are when there are when 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 there are stoppages in terms of synergy. Now how do I put this one? Let us take a break, my lord. I'm requesting that you take a break. It's already time for a short break so that I prepare my answer to this one. I mean my question to this one. Yeah.